Welcome. I want to talk about speed time graph. Speed time graph. So I look at my um, usual example of motion along a straight line where I have a somebody, might be a ball or stone or a car or a person, moving along this straight line. Now let me start by again um, looking at the simple, maybe the simplest case where this is at rest. Okay. And now let me think about plotting a graph. Plotting a graph of the velocity or the speed. Get okay, the speed against time. So let's say the unit is seconds for time and meter per second for speed. Put in some markings for the time intervals. Let's say that's one second, two seconds, three, four, five, and so on. And um, that's one meter per second, two meter per second, three, and so on. And I shall copy this graph Let me copy a just copy a few here so that I can I can use it afterwards. Okay. Now so um if it's at rest, right, if it is at rest. How do I plot the graph for that? So let me try. Now if it is if it is at rest, okay, then um the speed is gonna be zero. It's gonna be zero as long as it's it's at rest. So in the beginning at zero at zero second the speed is zero meters per second and after one second it's still zero meters per second after another second it's still zero meters per second and so on and so on so my graph my graph is just going to be a horizontal line on the time axis so that's simple enough uh, you can you can't really get a, a simpler graph than that. So, so we next time we see we see a line that goes along the time axis um, for the speed time graph. We know we can tell right away that it means that the body is at rest. Okay. Now, let me now look at a slightly, a slightly more complicated situation. Let me look at what happens if this body is moving. So let's say it's moving. Let's say it's moving. Okay, I like my pencil to be a little bit finer, so let me just change that. Try again. Okay, maybe a bit better. So, if it is moving at say um, two meters per second meters per second so what would the graph look like now I'm going to I'm going to say that um, it is moving at two meters per second all the time so that doesn't change so at the beginning at when time is zero second the speed is 
2 meters per second and after 1 second it's still 2 meters per second next second 2 meters per second and just keep going at 2 meters per second all the time so if I plot the graph it looks like this a horizontal line so next time uh, and it's gonna, gonna be a horizontal line even if it has a different speed it, as long as that speed stays the same so for example if it's instead of 2 meters per second if it is 3 meters per second that would give me a horizontal line but uh, uh, that line would be higher it would be going through the the, the 3 mark on the speed axis so this graph therefore a horizontal line which is not at zero which is not along the time axis a horizontal line that is above the time axis always means uh, or on the velocity on the speed time graph right we can recognize that next time you see it you, you can, can tell that it means that the body is moving at uniform uniform speed remember what uniform means uniform means same it doesn't mean the school uniform but your school uf uniform is a uniform in the sense that you wear the same clothes at, uh, as everybody else in the school right okay let's let's continue now um, I am going to now, to now look at the case where this body is going faster and faster. Oops. That let me just remove this and let me remove this. Okay suppose that I have um, suppose that this body is accelerating is accelerating at a certain at a certain rate uh, let me just say that it's accelerating at okay just one meter per second So as time passes, um, now let, let me say that it starts from rest, let's say that it starts from rest, and then it accelerates at 1 meter per second squared. That means that every second, its speed increases by 1 meter per second. So in the next second, it will become 2 meters per second, and the next second, it will become 3 meters per second. So, okay, so... Uh, let me just draw this so after, after one second after one second it would become one meter per second and after the next second it will become two meters per second and it just keeps going faster and faster okay and now I want to plot I want to plot a speed time graph Try that again. Okay, and I would like another one for the next example. Okay, um, what would a graph for this for this example look like? Now, in this case. Um, I can I can actually plot the points now actually so let me try that in the beginning in the beginning it's at rest so at rest just mean zero meters a second so there I am and after one second after one second the body is moving at one meter per second so that's one second 
and after another second it's moving at 2 meters per second so after every second it increases by the same the speed increases by the same amount so clearly you can see that it's going to be a straight line there so next time you see a straight line not not a horizontal one we, we have seen that just now that was for constant speed if we see a slanted line a slanted straight line on a speed time graph that means that the body is accelerating at a uniform rate okay, so this is uniform acceleration now let me let me re, uh, uh, revise what I just said a moment ago um, I said that next time you see a slanted straight line on a speed time graph it means uniform acceleration now that actually is not quite right I should have said next time you have a uniform acceleration okay it must give you a slanted straight line on a speed time graph now what's the difference between between the two sentences it is because it is because strictly speaking uniform acceleration uniform acceleration acceleration means that the velocity increases by the same amount every second it does not mean that the speed increases by the same amount okay we, I have explained the, the distinction between speed and velocity in an earlier video where I've emphasized that velocity also contains the directional information so I won't, I won't go into the details as to why if you, if you have a straight slanted line on a speed time graph it does not mean does not have to mean uniform acceleration but the main reason is because it's because on a speed time graph even if the speed remains the same if the direction changes then there could still be acceleration but this is a topic for for the next level if, if you're interested take a look at my a level physics videos on acceleration so for now let me just move on let me just move on to the speed time graph for a non-uniform acceleration so let me write this down a non-uniform acceleration so what would a graph for non-uniform acceleration look like basically it is just any graph on the speed time graph that is not a straight line so it meaning it can be a curve or it can be uh, a few straight lines of different uh, slopes joined together so let me just make something up um, let me let me just say draw a curve like this okay that's a simple curve and and, and it is not a uniform acceleration now so while we are here let me talk about something that I've mentioned before let me talk about the instantaneous acceleration I, I think I've mentioned this before instantaneous acceleration okay now what it means is instantaneous acceleration just means the acceleration at a particular time let's say at, at this this time okay and on the graph it might mean at this point in the graph so how how could I find if I say there's non-uniform acceleration it means that the acceleration is not the same at different times but how do I tell what the acceleration is at any particular time right, I have to be I have to be able to find the acceleration at at any time before I can tell that they are not not the same so if at this time I want to find the acceleration 
how would I do it? Well, I can do something quite similar to to um, what you would do for instantaneous speed. Okay. Assuming that this is motion along a straight line, I could I could um, let's say at, at this time, at the two second time, I can I can um, measure out a very small time interval, say from there to there. So in this time interval the speed or the velocity would have increased by a certain amount. So so um, let's say in this time interval the speed would have increased by that amount. Okay. So all I need is to take the the small increase in the in, in the velocity and divide by the small increase in the small change in the time and that will give, give me an estimate for the instantaneous acceleration so if I, if I call that uh, delta v which means a small change in velocity and delta t which means a small interval of time so acceleration is just the change in velocity divided by the time taken so that's one way to do it but it's just an estimate it's, ju it's just approximate because because over this small interval um, the speed could have uh, the acceleration could have changed a little bit okay. so what would be a more accurate way now the more accurate way would be this if I imagine joining those two points with, with a straight line this is what it would look like now if let's say I think about making this time interval very small well, the smaller the time interval the, the more accurate would be this, this estimate because it wouldn't have accelerated very much in, in the small time interval but if the time interval becomes very small this line, this straight line would basically be touching the curve at this point so if you recall uh, how I found the how how I find instantaneous speed in the previous video, the idea is the same. To find therefore to find instantaneous acceleration, all I need is to draw a line touching the curve at, at the time that I want and then find the gradient of that line. Oops. So all I need is to draw this line, this tangent touching the graph and find its gradient so just take the vertical over horizontal draw the two lines okay so if that's a and that's b my instantaneous acceleration would be the gradient be the gradient which would be um, a over b in this example 